And welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Campaign One. Well, we're still with Robert Anderson here, and they have now taken him into a diagnosis room just to uh, continue some examinations. We're trying to find out what this hidden symptom is because it could cause him to crash. It's pulsating, so we know that it's it's dangerous. Um, but we don't have many examinations available here, and with that in mind, we've also received this about Susan Lewis that there's no clear diagnosis uh, consider adding more diagnostic equipment laboratories or radiology rooms that uh, the patient will be leaving soon and this is the thing is that we still haven't dealt with this uh, medical laboratories clinic and I'm thinking maybe that uh, this is what we should be doing uh, what have we got here mind you saying that this is probably yeah x-ray this is actually one of these x-ray rooms that she needs she needs a ct scan um i mean that room probably costs an absolute arm and a leg right uh let's see so we would need to put that room up here um our loan is pretty big <laughs> you know i'm not mm, i'm not really sure about this um, let's see so if we were to go into x-ray we might have to send her home because the CT room prefabs for radiology how much is that 45,000 so we're a couple of thousand short I think what we might have to do is send her her home um send an untreated pa untreated patient to another hospital i think we might have to do that you know or maybe we take a guess <laughs> we could do differential treatment couldn't we maybe we could try that so who can do that can he yes let's try that and see if he can work out which one it is between those two uh, is there enough nurses to transport a patient? So what is this? Wow, we're getting a lot of stuff. Obviously lots has changed in this game because our pop-ups are pretty constant at the moment, aren't they? Um, no, I happen to deal with all kinds all of the time. So he's waiting to be transported. So here's part of general surgery. I mean, I'm not actually seeing a team here. For him to be transported there's nobody there's nobody here i mean we've got a lot of nurses kicking around um we've got three nighttime nurses medical surgery they do patient care and patient transfers and they do patient care and patient transfers is there no nurse to assist at night doesn't seem to be does there because we would need two nurses available to assist at surgery and uh, currently we actually don't have that so if we employed her where is she no she can't assist at surgery but she could do patient care and patient transfers right her specialist patient care 56 just thinking we might put her on patient care um his patient care is quite low, so we could put him on transfers only. So that's his main job. We've got one doing both. So we could do with, I think, another surgical nurse. Here. Fresh parent. That's okay. People person. So we might also employ her. Yeah. And do that. That might be fine yeah we'll do that and let's see if that helps that pop up um let's see so that's a second nurse to assist in surgery and then more nurses to also transport patients around um so hopefully uh, that will work um with that we've got this guy 
in surgery over here. Where's Susan? We need to keep an eye on Susan. So Susan needs to be seen. Has she been sent back to Sarah Johnson? We need her to see a doctor that can do this differential diagnosis, don't we? So here we go. Where is he? Oh, oh, oh no, they're there. Right, okay. No, she went back. She did go back. She didn't go to see John White. Is John White maybe a daytime guy? Maybe he is. Maybe he's a daytime guy. Um, we would like to see the patients. What? Uh, the, the doctor pop-ups. Oh, I know. Hang on. No, this is not general surgery. This is, yeah, here. Yeah, he's daytime, look. He's daytime over here. Oh, look at this. We've got... That's interesting. So we need somebody that can do... We're spending all of the money, though, doing this. Look. So this person can. Yeah. A good boss as well. I think we're gonna hire them. Are they when they say good boss, like better than, than Thomas here? Thomas Taylor. What do you like? I'd like to I'd like Thomas Taylor's card. I'd like his card. I can't seem to find it. It's a little bit. How do I I'd really like to see where would he where does he work? Thomas Thomas Taylor. Maybe he's in the upstairs in the doctor's room. Is that him there? Yes. Oh, he's even got a hidden tray. Yeah, so I think we might actually make Linda here the new chief. There we go. Excellent. So now, now, let's try this again. Susan, we'd like you to go and see Linda. Okay, because so, the other doctor wasn't in. So let's try, let's try this. We've now got sort of double doctors going on. Just clean feet. Okay, you're sort of no good to us, really. There we are. We've got you now, and I don't like to fire people unfairly. <laughs> so let's try Linda. All right, so can Linda try and ascertain which one of these two it is without us needing a CT? All right. Oh, an emergency patient's coming in. Should we speed it up a little bit? I've got an emergency patient in. Let's, uh, let's try all these things. Right. Okay. So we had a critical room. I think we won't worry about it today. In fact, we will slow this down because we are hopefully going to try and build some rooms. We need to also treat 50 patients. Um, I do want to speed things up, but we've just got a few bits and bobs that we need to do. So do we know yet with... Oh, look at that. We have done it. We have done it. That's that's amazing. Well done. Well done. So pleased. So pleased. So here's in his surgery. That's happening. We've got that done. Uh, what's happening with this guy? Waiting for a doctor examination thingamajiggy. But they've had... Have they had their... They've had their surgery. Yeah. Why are we having a physical... Oh, because we've still got this. Yeah, he could collapse. He could legit collapse. Um, have we got any room in ICE? We do. We might need to consider sending Robert here to the ICU, to this spare bed here. That might need to be a thing that happens. This guy is going to be fine, Robert Scott. You are going to be uh, totally fine. Uh, this guy, however, that's just come in, is having a rough time. Daniel Adams is having a rough time. Anyway, shall we? We're going to pause this because the, we're, we're having the shift changeover 
and we've got quite a lot of work to do here it's quite expensive as well because we need to sort out this medical laboratories thing um, and I think we're going to put it centrally here and we're just going to have to embrace the fact that everybody will have to walk all over the hospital to get to, the, to these things. Um, and we would really like one of each lab, but we've been spending all of our money. Um, so what I'm going to try and do, we're going to upset everything right now. Um, so first of all, we're going to delete this room. Yeah. So those employees now have nowhere to work. Same over here. Okay. Um, and what we can do is bulldoze all these objects. You probably could reuse these objects and just make things a little bit cheaper, but I'm too sure. I just want to get this done. Um, so there's that. Okay. Now, where else do we have labs? So we've deleted two labs there. I mean, like I say, I believe two of the labs are in these two rooms uh, with the new version of this campaign. But we're just going to do them upstairs centrally because of course our hospital has grown. Um, because look, we have another one here. So what we need to do um, is like to delete no this room how did I just do it how did I just do it remove room there we go there's so that's more of them uh, with no home to go to they're all going to hopefully we'll be able to move them all to the same department right. okay so there's that that's that gone is there any more labs up here no that's it isn't it yeah okay so we now have 47 thousand this is pretty good um so what we would like to do, build mode we want prefabs for medical laboratories and then we need to get started so we're going to go for the smaller ones um so this one does all the blood work so we're going to uh, get that in that's all the blood work um, oh, I think we'll put a little waiting room there, maybe. Maybe we could do that. that might be okay. Waiting area here. Um, so it was those two, wasn't it? And then this one. Don't have the money. Okay, we might try and survive without that one for a little bit. <laughs> I think is what we'll try and do. Survive without this one for a little bit. See how, see where this gets us. Um, now, because we don't have any toilets here or anything, um, we need, in this department, we are going to need a waiting room. Excellent. Now, we do have a bunch of tech tech people um, uh, oops kicking around now how are we gonna find them all how are we going to find them all um, because we do that's patience because we do have them on staff what's the best way of finding it out I honestly don't know and the best way of finding it out is this this is right this here is important all staff techs yeah you see how they don't show up at all interesting okay so here we've got three that were working in emergency five are they all the oh no we don't want to count these okay whole bunch here and a whole bunch here I think right okay should we start with these guys so let's see we've got Garcia Robinson okay uh, they all seem like pretty good I mean this one can be late 
this has this one has hidden traits well i think we're definitely going to put in um right we're definitely going to put him in daytime christopher garcia come and work in how do we oh i don't want to hire staff all right hang on move to that department wow okay there we go objective for insurance company has been completed open medical laboratories Fifty thousand. Oh, we can now afford that other department oh objective for insurance uh, company has been completed open clinic at any specialized department hospitali hospitalization at emergency oh oh more um objective for insurance company has been completed enable hospitalization at emergency intensive care unit that's weird right okay so this is now highlighted but it's still not quite as we want it so we're going to put christopher here okay all right so that's one guy now with that money we should now be able to actually afford to build so we're going to, go to build this one boom there it is okay um now thing is is that it'd be really nice if we didn't have to build separate cleaning closets common rooms you know like it'd be nice if we could have them share this common room and i've got a feeling that is something that you can do now but i'm not entirely sure how to do it if you can um, but i think i did read that amongst some of the changes you can get different departments to share common rooms now um if you know how to do that let me know down in the comments below because I'd, I'd quite like to know but i think for the moment we're going to try and do it without adding those particular uh support facilities uh yeah so what we will do though um is sort out these walls because it's bothering me um so we're just going to build all down here all down there just just decorate it a little bit you know there we go that's good um and we don't have the floor sorted out in here i suppose we could worry about making this but i can do this make this waiting room nicer between episodes let's continue to try and sort out what's going on with the staff so tech people uh for emergency so we still got these two which i'm not sure about if we can fire them we might um let's see we probably won't be able to but so we have here now they're working somewhere else but these are all yeah are my goodness we've got three new ones here hidden trait late for work unpleasant so we might actually dismiss this member of staff as we go where did our staff list go i can't believe it it's taking it away right okay we've got hidden trait here depressed late for work quite a lot a bit mildly problematic um and then we also have uh, you, you, and somebody else. I don't know if we'll be able to... Ooh. Okay, slow learner. That's fine. Moves much faster. That's pretty good. Nice staff. Bit depressed. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, do you know what? I think we'll move Michael here. And Michael... Um, I'd like to try and put Michael in here Michael there you go fantastic Michael uh, what about you you're fine as well actually so what we might do is also move Daniel here and we're gonna put him on this department so we now have one technician in each department for the day which is great um, that's that's really great okay leaving us with fraser patricia okay which are on there um then we've got thomas needs to come over here 
who is a night owl. So that's great. So Thomas would be really great to work here at night. There we go. So we've got one member of staff for night. So that's that clear. And then we've got these two, Sarah Miller. Right, okay, so these are our last four technicians to deal with. We need to, definitely need to. Um, so let's see, you're often late for work. We have no idea about Patricia, and I don't think once you've employed them that you can find this sort of information out. Um, and hidden traits, right, depressed and long commute. So I think what we'll do is we're actually going to dismiss her. Um, she does kind of need to go. Why does this keep happening? This is annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, long commute does put me off. Does put me off. Whereas we don't really know about these two. Um, I'm pretty good biochemistry. Yeah, he's the least qualified. Okay, so I think we'll dismiss him. And then what we'll do... Um, right. Patricia, I'd like you to come and work here. I'm going to put you on the nighttime shift um, over here. There you go. You do that. And then Sarah, uh, we would like you to come over to here. I think that's what we'll try. And we'll see how this, we'll just see how this goes. Because uh, it's a new department. Don't really know what I'm doing. Don't really know what to expect. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll go with it. Um, now, yes, we've got this guy being transported for examination. Again, though, we don't have a lot of options over here. And I'm wondering if we should really be considering sending him to the ICU. So I think what we'll do with Robert here is we'll see if this physical examination will yield any results, which honestly seems unlikely. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to send him to ICU. That's, that's totally the plan. Now, this guy is in trauma. Let's speed this up a bit. He's in trauma. Uh, okay. God, laceration. Uh, laceration on the... Uh... Oh. Favourite patient has been treated and he's going home. It's a big day, everybody. Brooke Con Gonzalez <laughs> has gone home. So she was in the ICU all that time. Where is she? I don't actually see her there. She's Oh, there she is. She doesn't look better, does she? She still looks like she's having a rough time, quite honestly. Um, I can't believe it. Brooke almost died. But that's really, really, that's really, really great. Seeing that, she's going home. We're told to get some rest, drink plenty of water and take these pills. She'll be fine. She'll be totally fine. Uh, we can actually remove her from there. What about um, Karen here? Karen hasn't quite made it yet. She's still... She was one of our... Oh, look. A wound infection. Oh, there we go. So we have managed to find out what's wrong with Robert. And we're going to give him these meds here just to deal with that infection. And, that, and, and that's great because it means that he can stay here on the high dependency unit in the orthopedic department um, and not crash. So that's, that's pretty fantastic. That's successful. Okay, so we are left with this guy that's been rushed in via the ambulance, um, who we do seem to be stabilizing. Look at this. We no longer, he had, look, but he's fine. They've suppressed it, they've dealt with it. He's got a blood transfusion happening. Um, he's going to need some abdominal surgery, which we'll get him in for, but he's going to be fine. He is going to be totally uh, fine. I would say it's all all good all good and we can speed this up again yeah great okay so where are we then we're sort of slowly getting back uh, to normal I would say where we need to definitely try and get what's this treat 20 patients per day at emergency okay we should be able to do that because we've got all these new uh, things that we need to get done however we now need to, oh dear, 
start doing this again because it's been a while isn't it it's been a while um so um uh monitored patient is collapsing your staff will do their best uh right hang on where is he where is he oh it's this guy why is he collapsing we don't know he just really needs his his surgery i think just really really needs his surgery i don't think we need these we just need the surgery um you know emergency care emergency pr procedure to make sure the patient is stabilized by taking care of any potential wounds lacerations i think we'll do that emergency care because we have an open wound here don't we and a laceration here on the kidney so i think we'll do this emergency care um yeah hopefully he's being he's being sent to the icu i'm not surprised i'm not surprised you'll, you'll be okay right you'll be okay we'll uh, we'll put him on the favorites list okay so here we are then uh three four five six seven eight i believe is our is our maximum he's gone home so dealt with uh gone home wow uh dealt with do you know what i didn't do and that was change all of these to printers uh gone home okay what's happening here oh look at all this see what's happening here see what i mean this is a problem it's definitely a problem um so we could probably put some uh, okay let's get some chairs down but you can see we do have a bit of a problem developing here this is probably going to be critical as well so hang on a minute how have we dealt with all these people oh no here's one that we haven't dealt with athlete's foot uh we don't we didn't need this cultivation at all that was unnecessary um you i uh, just need some numbing ointment you're fine um nancy wilson it's having a blood test but it's it's not really necessary is it we, we didn't need to do that uh, we just need some liver medication which actually i can't see here liver medication we can't give it to her drug used in the treatment of various diseases affecting the liver we can't give this to her why is that office diagnostic unit at general surgery general surgery so she needs to change department and then get her liver medication there it is that's what we needed to do with her going to stat lab oh because she's having a blood test that was unnecessary i'm really annoyed about that uh, quite honestly um so that was nancy i don't know quite where we were down this list <laughs> i don't know where we were uh should we start from the top two uh, three four five six seven eight so william king then but let's remove yeah they all went home uh he was dealt with she was dealt with this guy's not been dealt with oh well um see look he's had a stall analysis which we didn't need um oh, look at this they're going for an x-ray i think we'll let that x-ray go through um to be honest arm cast arm cast numbing ointment okay we'll let that go through so that's william king okay and then uh one two three four five six seven great patient is collapsing your staff will do everything possible to keep them alive okay um oh dear i mean really has collapsed heart failure Oh my goodness favorite patient has been treated and is going home well done karen well done karen although right now we have a situation unfolding <laughs> if they come heart failure they're actually having a heart attack and there's also something else happening here quick icu do we have free beds in the icu 
ICU has been so busy in this hospital. <laughs> it really, really has. I'll tell you what, it definitely seems to me that they have upped these types of events and it feels like everybody needs a lot more attention now. Are you noticing that? It's very difficult to get through our little process that we used to do in the earlier episodes. It's actually quite, it's quite difficult, um, which I'm okay with. Let's um, just have a look through these patients. So he needs some antifungal ointment. Um, oh God, he's had that cultivation thing. Um, influenza, uh, get some antivirals. Again, having loads done at the labs. Um, we don't need an x-ray for that, but we do need some numbing ointment. So let's deal with that. Excellent. Uh, we don't know which one it is. Maybe we could go for differential uh, diagnosis and just try and work that out. That might be nice. What's going on? You've got broken ribs. Don't need an x-ray. Um, but if we could get some compression wraps um, on that. And you've got some breathing problems as well, uh, which I don't like. So I'd like to deal with that as well. Um, wow, you've got all sorts going on. So they've gone straight in to this sort of uh, testing. Let's go physical as well. Um, a headache, let's look at the ears. Visual, basic visual test, listening, neck. Um, what have we got here? Lupus, potentially lupus. <laughs> potentially lupus, they could be poisoned. Really? Should we listen to their chest as well i think maybe take their temperature we're just gonna go we're just gonna go nuts everybody uh take their blood pressure wow uh yeah we'll keep an eye on them they're interesting um you don't need any of these examinations we know that it's this tapeworm so let's just give you some meds and send you home um and then yeah and then we're back we're back to this lady there is no free bed in the icu now this is what i was worried about it's absolutely what I was worried about. I thought there might not be. Um, white. Oh my goodness. What do we do? What do we do? There's no free beds in the ICU. I could build an ICU somewhere else. But then it's somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it would fit here. Um, let's see. If we were... How much is... How much is it? Because there's no room... I mean, this is where ICU is, right? There's no room here at all. So, but these, these departments are wildly expensive for obvious reason. They're like massively equipped. Um, so if we wanted to build ICU, another one of those rooms is 58,000. 58,000. How many beds is in that one? Just the one? Possibly just the one. Whereas we get three out of this. 58 grand. It's like all of our money and then some. And it's not going to go in here. It's not going to go there. Look at that. It's not going to go there. Um. Mm, uh. <laughs> such a big room what do we do what do we do what do we do she just needs a bed i say that though it's not just a bed it needs to be look at all this equipment that goes around these beds you need so much equipment it's it's icu for goodness sake and then this one which is a lot smaller and a lot cheaper is what just one it's just one just does one patient do we, do we go with it? Is that is that what we... Is this what we do, peeps? Is this a yes? Are you all saying yes to me right now? I have no idea. Oh, we're going to stick it in x-ray. <laughs> feels, feels silly. We could stick it... So far away from all the... The relevant doctors and, you know, everything that's up here. They're far away from it all. They'd have to run so far. I don't think we have a lot of choice though, do we? I might just stick it here. I 
can't believe that we've had to do that. But there we are. We have. It's happened. Um, and then up here. Yeah, look. So, because I want to make it look nice. So we're going to have to do this as well. Um, where is it? Where did I build it? Here. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, it feels to me like this is something that we should be doing. Is that the big one? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's... I feel like this is something that we should do. Should totally do. Okay. Well, there should now be room for Karen Miller. in ICU. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.